Hey family, Pastor Artie here with your Manna in a Minute. You know, when I say the word food, what comes to mind? Well, of course, immediately you think about eating. You know, I'm hungry, I need something to eat, something to get my body going. You know, in the morning people will have a cup of coffee, I'll have a cup of coffee, I'll have a pot of coffee. But you know, we'll have coffee, we'll have something to eat, um, eggs or bacon and whatever, but we'll eat something during the day and then at lunch and at dinner, we'll eat something else. Why? Because we need to sustain our bodies. You know, our bodies need fuel to go on every day. You know, it. you can only go so long. You know, we, we always hear in the church about fasting and prayer. Well, you know, fasting is great if that's what you want to do. But some people really should not fast. You know, for instance, I'm a diabetic. That's the last thing I want to do is fast. You know, is drive my blood sugar down and put me in a coma. No thanks. You know, so I eat moderately. You know, um, but the body needs fuel to grow on. Same way, your spirit needs food to grow on too. You know, when you gave your life to Christ, you just don't sit around and wait for all this knowledge of God's grace and his mercy and his love to just come into your head or come in through your body through osmosis. It's not a process like that. We have to read, just like we sit down with a knife and a fork and a plate and food, we eat from that same way. We pick up a Bible, we read it, we take in the spiritual food that God has for us. You know, it tells us in the Bible, and I'm going to give you a little, a, little, uh, a little assignment here. You need to look this up. I'm not going to tell you where it is, but I'm going to tell you the scripture. It says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. That's it. My people perish for lack of knowledge. What's perishing? Dying. We die. We, we, we kiss off because we don't have the food spiritually to keep us going. Today, family, not only take time to enjoy a meal, but also enjoy some time in the Word today. Give God your first fruits, and He's going to give back to you the nourishment and stuff to grow on that your body and your spirit needs. You know, you can't answer a person what it is to be a Christian if you have never read what it is to be a Christian. So if you've never really picked up a Bible, I would suggest you pick one up today, start in the book of Romans, see what kind of life you're supposed to live as a Christian, and you're gonna find out that you're gonna see some amazing things that'll enhance your life, enhance your spirit, build you up spiritually, just like you take food in to build your body up. Today, family, take some time in the Word. Understand God loves you, and He wants you to grow inside and out. Not, not fat, don't get me wrong, okay? Don't, don't jump on the pastor. I'm not saying get fat, I'm just saying, you need to grow physically and you need to grow spiritually. So from Linda and myself and the rest of us here at Rock Ministries, we love you guys. We're praying for you. Have a blessed hump day and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye guys.